ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Kohima Educational Society, the Nagaland counterpart of the Kohima Educational Trust UK, it is my privilege to warmly welcome all of you this evening to the Gordon Graham Prize for Naga Literature Award function for the year 2021. This evening rightly should have been the fourth edition of the GGPNL, but owing to the COVID-19 pandemic, the awards for 2020 could not be held. Therefore, we are especially glad that we are able to hold this function tonight and have it graced by all of you. Without further delay, I will request Felofele Kishize to bless this initiative the words that will be said here and the words. Good evening, the Honorable Chief Minister of Nagaland, Mr. Nipurio, distinguished dignitaries present here, most respected judges of the Gordon Graham Prize for Naga Literature, most esteemed writers and winners for Gordon Graham Prize for Naga Literature 2021, respected media persons most esteemed members of the Music Academy, my dear students of Northfield and Mesur High Secondary School, ladies and gentlemen, on this auspicious day of awarding the Gordon Graham Prize for Naga Literature, I, on behalf of the Koima Educational Trust and the Koima Educational Society, take this privilege and honor to extend a warm welcome to each and every one of you. Your presence here today is priceless as it truly shows your commitment towards the journey of the Naga literary world. While welcoming you once again, allow me to briefly share on Koima Educational Trust and Koima Educational Society. In the days of yore, the Nagas lived in their village republic much like the Greek city-state republic. Little did we know then that a day will come when the very epigram of the Greek poet Simonitas of Sios that was used as an epitaph for the Greek who fell at the Battle of Thermopylae in 1480 would one day lie in our very soil, in our very soil for the fallen heroes of the Battle of Kohima in 1944. The very epigram that says, when you go home, tell them of us and say, for you tomorrow, we give our today. How amazing that such an epigram had to use the Second World War to reach our very soil and remain in the cemetery built on the battle site in Kohima. It is also important to note here that uh, in 2013, the Great Britain declared the Battle of Kohima as Britain's most significant battle, even above Waterloo. Such historical importance would not have come to our awareness unless for the then young Captain Gordon Graham, who fought in the Battle of Kohima. Having survived, he could never forget the Nagas for their help and assistance extended to them through the most difficult fighting in the Battle of Kohima. During the reunion of the veterans of the British 2nd Division in 2004, Gordon Graham stated his belief that most of the veterans who survived did so because of the help given by the Nagas and that they carried a depth of gratitude and honor to the Naga people. He suggested that they should do something before they pass away. His comrades fully endorsed his belief and they decided to launch a monument to the living rather than that of non-living structures such as buildings or pillars that are often constructed. Thus, the question... Waiting for the Dust to Settle by Veo Po, Assistant Professor, 
Department of English, Shahid Bhagat Singh College, University of Delhi. His area of interest is in the oral tradition, cultural studies, indigenous studies of Northeast India, studies of both modernist and post-colonial literature. He has also published the written lit literary cultures of India's Northeast, Naga writings in English and other papers. Waiting for the dust to settle, he describes is that space between hope and despair in his debut fiction novel. In the non-fiction category, the Gordon Graham Prize for Naga Literature 2021 is awarded to the Chang Nagas in memory of our undefeated ancestors by Wong To Ching Ma. The author is an unlikely author. He is the pastor of the Chang Baptist Church. His book has stood out, according to the judges, for its insider, insider nar narration of a subject that has largely remained an outsider-insider interpretation. It, it also holds out an interesting perspective of a Christian pastor, pastor searching for connections with his ancestral faith. May I now call upon the winners to come and kindly deliver the acceptance speech. First, Mr. Veopal. I'm excited to receive this uh, 2021 Gordon Graham Prize for Naga Literature. First of all, my thanks to the Koima Education, Educational Trust and Koima Educational Society for instituting the Gordon Graham Prize for Naga Literature. I want to appreciate the trustees and also people who are upholding this society, particularly uh, people who are present here. Mr. Charles Chassi, President of KES, Dr. P. Muli, Chairman KES, and also Dr. Akam Nongchari. Mr. Charles and Dr. Akam has been communicating with us uh, for those who have been uh, shortlisted for the prize, and we have had good conversation even in the morning um, for those who were there in the morning. And I also take this opportunity to uh, congratulate uh, my co-winner, Wang To Mak, for his book, The Chang Nagas. And I also want to extend my um, appreciation to the, all the shortlisted uh, uh, writers of both the categories, and I wish you well in the future, in the writing future career. My respect also to the Chief Minister, Mr. Nifu Ryu, for raising this occasion. And thank you so much to the judges, Professor Ahmed, Dr. Vikas, and Dr. Istrin. I count myself very fortunate uh, to be living at this point in time in the Naga society, because we are ushered in with many opportunities. Take this prize, for example. A few years before, or uh, a decade before, we don't have this kind of opportunities. But today, we have the un, you know, unexpected or also undeserved limelight. I'm particularly drawn to the mission statement of the Gordon Graham Prize for Naga Literature, which states that, and I quote, um, to promote good writing and raise the profiles of Naga writers. Though I must say that my work is far from being categorized as good writing, I must say that it has certainly raised the profiles of Naga writers in whatever category we all are writing. And I also want to also, um, you know, stress on the fact that, and I'm quoting from the mission statement, that this award is aimed at rewarding and recognizing the knowledge keepers and idea keepers of Naga society. Now these two phrases, knowledge keepers and idea givers, are loaded terms. And uh, each society, whatever society we may all belong to, um, hold such people with such a high esteem and uh, because they stir the path for upliftment and progress. And it is a huge responsibility at the same time when um, we are granted those opportunities. What is more interesting to me in the Naga context is um, that we have a rich tradition of revering knowledge keepers, idea givers, and also, if I may be allowed to add, story keepers. We have uh, the rich oral culture 
which has not fully been realized in its potential even today. One of the reasons perhaps is also our overzealous pursuit of um, an important culture which is very foreign to us in many ways and our school education is largely primarily based on those because that was the written culture. For a long time we have partly ignored or somehow left it aside without knowing the importance embedded in the culture. Category of the Ranger for the Justice Center and also the Chang Chang members. So I'll give you the
lost with the victory, victory. But in person of Gordon Graham, and always remembered the contribution and his appreciation for the Nagas remain. We learned that. And therefore, the idea of trying to help the Nagas or building up the doing something which uh, for the younger generations you said monuments of living something which will the legacy will go on really appreciate and with that in among the Naga society setting up this Kohima Education Society. This partnership, this friendship has bridged the British legacy and the Nangas. And in this connection, I heard that the members of the Kohima Education Society were also invited to in Paris for meetings. And in one of the occasions, I was also invited to the Birmingham Palace and discussed over this thing also. And there is a lot of appreciation about continuing bringing the bridging between the legacy of the British and the Nagas. My father was a British Assam regiment. He came out from service when India got independent in 1947. And they have the King George Awards medals, the Burma Stars and the Regiment Stars. So whenever we talk about the Second World War and the Kohima Education Trust, which was organized on the mind and hope and in appreciation of the Naga's contribution towards the British and their life, I think though they had given that kind of support. If we have not organized the Kohima Education Society and taking all these measures, helping the students and the community, <coughs> this will not last long. Therefore, this institution should be built in such a manner that in future also it should grow to a bigger level and then continue to support and innovate the young writers. <coughs> I'm not uh, an educationist. I'm not a good student also. And I'm very lazy in my studies. I don't read much when I was young, maybe because I was too naughty, not considered it in my studies. And after my studies, I became a politician. So I have no time to read. That is a very good excuse. <laughs> so you have given me books. I have many books in my house. <laughs> But the time is my biggest enemy, and I don't read much. But those of you who have the time, and who have a settled mind, your ideas, your thoughts, your emotions, and your situations, many people write poems, histories, or their experiences. 
And therefore, I also encourage you to continue to do that. In my life experience as a student and now as a politician, as we are all aware, when you are a KG student for class A in those days, you are taught ABC. And once you learn ABC, these alphabets are put into together in S words. And words are put and made a sentence. And building up the sentence, then you start writing stories so that you can read and write. And when you can read and write, then what I realize is that you learn the basic, or even you go studying the histories, you go from the ancient stories, the furthest, and as you go higher and higher, your studies come nearer and nearer to you. And when you go to college and universities, then you also start studying about the problems of today's. And when you go into university or PhDs, you start writing your thesis, your thoughts, your mind, your solution. So, life is very interesting. Life itself is an art. And therefore, those who have the time and thoughts, the patient, I think they are lucky one. Naga society, we are young society, as I stated, but our situation, our atmosphere, is not very conducive. You, you want to write your thoughts, your mind, you need concentration. You need a cordial atmosphere. And then you have, you should have the tranquility. Otherwise, a person like us who do multitasking, we are into many things, doing too many things, so we become busy doing nothing. <laughs> so, we are the lucky one. And I appreciate that today we right. Like, we have a long way to go, and therefore, when we look at our, at our society, very few writers, very few authors, and our liturgies are maybe not up to the market, except some books which got uh, recognition. Therefore, I also encourage you to continue at the Kohima Education Society. I appreciate your activities that you are taking and doing good jobs, not only infrastructure or other health programs also. I believe in, in memory of Dr. Kate Halna, activities are on. I believe we have visited Victoria also. That's a very good thing. And therefore, to continue your activities, as mentioned by Professor Ahmed, I think you have never come to me, you have uh, never approached help from the government. And since you have been supported and helped by a mighty British United Kingdom, <laughs> it becomes very uneasy to volunteer to help. <laughs> but I realize that uh, our professors uh, encourages me, and so I feel that uh, not me as 
real, but as Chief Minister, even me or after any Chief Minister's staff, they should uh, contribute something, particularly for the prizes, because competitions. Thank you.